boys and girls, I have something really special I want to show you today. Look what came in the mail. Can you see what these are? They're caterpillars. There's five caterpillars in here. Look at there's one, two, three, four, five. They're already so big. They've been doing so much growing. What else do you see is in here? You see some webs, some silky webs, and this brown stuff down here in the bottom. That's all the food that the caterpillars are eating right now. These black, um, some of these black spots in here that are stuck in the web. There's some stuck in the web. That's actually some of the um, skin from the caterpillars. They're growing so much and so fast that they're shedding their skin. And soon they'll crawl up to the top like this guy is, and they'll form a letter J, like Jocelyn, and they'll hang from the top of the lid, and when they start forming their letter J's, they'll start building something called a chrysalis. Now these are caterpillars for butterflies, so they make a chrysalis. If they were moths, they would be cocoons. And so then they'll be in their chrysalis for a little while, and then when they come out is when they're a butterfly. It's very exciting. So I'll share videos and pictures of our caterpillars so that we can watch how they change and how they grow. And so I have a very special story I want to share with you today. It's called Butterflies. And this is by Lisa J. Amschwitz. And in this story, it's um, the illustrations are real photographs. So Remember in class how we've talked about illustrators use different techniques to make their pictures. Sometimes they might draw their pictures or they might paint them or use art materials like um, tissue paper or clay. Um, the illustrations in this book are real photographs. So that's kind of neat. So this is called Butterflies. I wonder what color our butterflies are going to be when they hatch. We'll have to see. So this is a little critter's book. There's our title page and our table of contents. So this says, flying by. Look, what's flying by? It's a butterfly. This butterfly is blue. A butterfly has four wings, soft, colorful scales, Cover them. Cover their wings. Brr, the air is chilly. A butterfly warms up in the sun, then it can fly. Lunch time. Two antenna smell for food. The antenna are right here at the top of his head. He has two. One, two. That's what the butterfly uses to smell their food. Does this flower have food? Yes, it does. Flowers have nectar in them that the butterflies like to eat. Slurp. A butterfly drinks nectar through a long tube. So right here, right there's the long tube. It's like a straw that he sucks up all the nectar. Growing up, tiny butterfly eggs hang from a leaf. A caterpillar will come out of each egg. So this is the first stage of a butterfly. They start as an egg. A butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. And then when they hatch, here's a bunch of eggs on the leaf. When they hatch, they come out as the caterpillar. This, this is a caterpillar here. It's separate from the butterfly. So the first stage is the egg, and then the caterpillar, and then they'll make their chrysalis and emerge as a butterfly. Pretty neat. Chomp. It eats leaves. It grows fast. These butterflies, or excuse me, caterpillars do grow fast. All they do is eat and grow, and eat and grow, and eat and grow. Soon it makes a case called a chrysalis. 
Inside, it turns into a butterfly. The new butterfly waits. Its wings must dry. Then it flies away. Goodbye. So when the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, it's going to hang upside down like this. And it's going to need to pump its wings and pump its wings and hang upside down until its wings are dry enough to fly. And that's the end of our story. So I hope that we um, will be able to learn a lot of new fun stuff about caterpillars and butterflies this week. And I'll be sure to post pictures of our caterpillars in our jar. And we'll start watching for those J shapes at the top. And um, so that we can watch their chrysalis. So our question of today is, do you remember which body part the butterfly uses to smell its food? It was in our story. I'll see you guys later. Bye.